Now, on America East on campus, UAlbany has never won a women's basketball title. Are the pieces coming together this year? We just go out every game and to prove to teams and prove to America East, like we're not a fifth place team, we're, we're here. The main men have pieces from all over the globe. We head to Orono to check on the Black Bears. Before I got here, they had a few international people. But I mean, this year it's just taking, been taken a whole new level. America East in the community. How student athletes are lending a hand and giving back. There's a lot of different elements and a lot of people praying for me. And um, I guess a lot of things, all the different pieces of the puzzle came together for me. And an inspirational story of a diver at Boston University who's battled cancer twice and won. It's all right now on America East on campus. We are at Swayze Pool on the campus of the University of New Hampshire in Durham. It's the site for the latest edition of America East on campus. And welcome to Durham, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Freed. Great to have you with us as we tell you the stories of the student athletes of the America East Conference. And behind me, it's a dual meet between Boston University and the UNH Wildcats. We're just a couple of weeks away from the America East Swimming and Diving Championships, which will take place at Boston University's Aquatic Center February 23rd through the 26th. Always a great event. Be sure to check it out if you can. We are right in the middle of a very competitive basketball season in men's and women's hoop around America East. And one team has emerged from the pack in women's basketball, the Albany Great Danes. Let's take a closer look at you, Albany. Last year was a first for the UAlbany women. Under first-year head coach Katie Abramson-Henderson, the Great Danes had a winning record at the Division I level. This year, they've made sure that first won't be a last. Yes, because they're enjoying it and they're having fun. And I think you look down the bench and they're all high-fiving each other. And they, you know, when I turn around, nobody knows who I'm going to put in. And that's a good thing, you know? Because last year when I turned around, everybody knew who I was going to put in. And this year, they're like, they're like, put me in kind of thing. And that's, as, as the coach, you're like, oh, gosh, they finally all want to be out there and play, you know? And so that, that's a lot of fun to watch them. The expectations for this year weren't that high outside of the Albany program. But with plenty back from a year ago, they felt differently. We just go out every game and to prove to teams and prove to America East, like we're not a fifth place team, we're, we're here. Great names, we're not playing this year. I love the underdog, to be honest, I love the underdog. Wouldn't go fight and get the people on top, so we're always gonna be the underdog. Setting the tone for Albany, last year's Defensive Player of the Year in America East, Ebony Henry, whose complete game is on display this year. She's our best basketball head. I mean, she knows the game, she watches the game, she gets the game, she's constantly talking. I think this year she's allowing the team to do more and she's enjoying rebounding and passing a little bit more and then letting her time come. I think last year she felt like she had to do more, um, but this year she's she's like a little coach out there. I mean, she's, she's she got, gets it and she's got that fire in her belly. I take a lot of pride in my defense, so I just, I want to get stops, I want to get rebounds. I know like just getting a rebound for the team, like that means a lot. Like we got to stop that keeps everyone focused, ready, stay aggressive. Joining Henry is Julie Forster, who came to Albany first as a walk-on, but has worked her way to become one of the top forwards in the league, leading the league in rebounding, nearly averaging a double-double a game. You know, Junior, you've kind of seen things before, trying to anticipate, trying to kind of just be smart, maybe not make that swat for the ball, even though, it, you, you know, stuff like that. And then offensively, just trying to be aggressive, trying to know situations and when you should try to, you know, drive to the basket. I think she's a bull. Like, she just... She's all over. She's gonna get a stop. She's gonna, she's gonna get that rebound that you didn't think no one would get on our team. She's gonna get that bucket. She can be under the basket and still find a way to score. She'll get a trap where we just, we weren't gonna trap that play. Like she just, she's a bull. And at the reins is their second year head coach who has the Great Danes thinking America East championship and more. I had to instill that, um, that they mattered in that empowerment and that winning and what it takes to win. Like, I don't, I think they played, but I don't think they knew how hard it is to win. Just as a team, we're all playing well. Like, we're an amazing team. So just individually just have to play well, but also as a team, everyone's gonna contribute in some type of way. And I think that's where we're strong. It's the fact that you can't stop one person and beat us. You have to stop everyone on our team. And it's all different types of ways. 
still ahead, America East teams at work in their communities. And next, the world community that makes up the University of Maine men's basketball team. Yeah.